Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get passive income from your camera gear. We're going to be talking about a website called Fat Llama, the weirdest, possibly definitely the weirdest name for a website I've ever heard. But effectively what Fat Llama is, is you can rent your gear out to people in your area. So the way it was described to me was kind of like Airbnb for your gear. It's not just camera gear, it's like DJ equipment, even camper vans as well. And we're going to talk about the pros and cons and what I think you should do to get the most out of Fat Llama. So obviously the pros are that you're earning money where it wouldn't usually be earning you money. So for me, I have a second job. I also have edit days. So whilst I'm editing or on my other job, why not rent out your gear and earn money when it usually wouldn't be? So I've earned about 150 pounds through Fat Llama. And you might be thinking, what's the point? But at the end of the day, it's 150 pounds I would never would have had had it not been for Fat Llama. And I put my low earnings down to being in a rural location and also not putting all of my gear. I don't have my GH5 on there. I don't have my 70 to 200. I've got my old basic gear, like my 5D, 24 to 70 and stuff like that. So I will be updating that because at the time when I put my GH, when I bought my GH5 is, it was new to me and I didn't want to rent that out because I was like, oh, what well, if someone damages it, which we'll get into later on in the video. Now, I haven't earned that much in physical money from Fat Llama. However, one of the benefits of Fat Llama is you get to meet other local filmmakers, photographers, and they can actually be really valuable relationships to have. So with all my rentals, when they turn up, I've always tended to ask them a few questions, you know, what they're shooting, what do they currently shoot, what's your website, I'd be interested to check it out. And I've actually developed relationships through Fat Llama. So one guy, Alex, he now seconds for me and I second for him. So I may not have actually earned that much money through Fat Llama. However, it has enabled me to meet other professionals in my area that are either further ahead than you and doing bigger productions that you could get involved in, or you know they could help you out on your shoot. And so it's a really good relationship building tool. The other way I've earned money through Fat Llama is actually someone was renting a lens that I wasn't using hardly at all. And he kept saying, you know, he kept renting it. And I said, well, do you want to buy it? Because I don't actually use it. I offered him a good price and he bought it. It was a Samyang 14 millimeter manual focus prime lens. And I was like, when am I ever going to use that? Again, I don't even know why I bought it, but that enabled me to sell that lens on and actually made money through that. So it's not just the immediate rentals that you can make money from, it's all the other benefits like meeting other professionals and then also selling your gear that you don't actually use that much. Let's talk about the cons of Fat Llama. So your gear could come back damaged, it could come back broken beyond all repair, it could even be stolen. But the great thing about Fat Llama is that it's actually insured through Fat Llama. So when you rent something out and something is lost or stolen or damaged beyond repair, then they will cover the cost. I haven't had actually any experience with that because thankfully the people that have taken my gear out have been really careful with it. But you've got to factor that in. You know, if you are going to be renting out your gear, you may come back with a few scratches or scuffs, just general wear and tear. It's going to build up on top of what you'd be adding to it. With regards to your items being stolen or damaged and never hearing from that person again, thankfully, Fat Llama goes through quite a detailed verification process with your driver's license, address, phone number. So if worst case happened, they would pay you and then they would chase down that individual. And for the most part, from definitely the people I've met, they're all just other photographers and filmmakers that are interested in the craft and they'll respect your gear as much as you would yourself. And at the end of the day, if they are renting out their gear as well, which is also a good sign, then you know that you can trust them to bring that back Obviously, they wouldn't want the same done to them. The other thing you've got to factor in is Fat Llama takes 25%, last time I checked, of your rental costs. So, for example, I rented out my 24 to 70 Canon F 2.8 over the weekend, and I put it up for 12 pounds for the day, and I got nine pounds in my bank. And you think, well, that's a lot of nine pounds to cover the cost of that lens. But again, like I say, I wasn't using it you might as well get the money. And that 25%, I kind of take that as, well, one, I would never have rented that piece of equipment out otherwise. And also you kind of got to factor in those costs of insurance. So I think it's justified. It is a little bit high, but what's the alternative? And one last con I would say is that if you schedule to rent out your gear for say a three or four day period, 
and then suddenly a last minute shoot comes up, then you have that dilemma. Do you cancel the rental? Do you feel right canceling the rental? Thankfully, I haven't had that dilemma. I actually was able to rearrange a shoot when someone offered it to me and my gear was rented out. So that is something that you need to factor in. Are you gonna you know, earn nine pounds to potentially miss out on a 500,000 pounds shoot? So just keep that in mind and just be fully aware that that could happen. So you've got the pros and you've got the cons and you're thinking, right, I'm sold, I'm gonna rent out my gear on Fat Llama. And here's some of the things that I would do to get the most out of Fat Llama. One thing I would do is document the damage on your gear. Every gear has wear and tear, like this 24 to 70 has a scuff on the actual lens. So every time someone comes to rent it out, I will document it that to them and just say, look, keep in mind this has got a scratch, so please don't feel like it's you that's created that if they don't notice it before. So you can do this with photos, you can actually document it in the actual Fat Llama page, but that does rely on you updating that. So even if you just snap pictures on your phone that's got a time and a date, that protects you if someone scuffs it and scratches it and says that it was already on there. The other thing to do, as I said earlier, is try and build a relationship with that person. You know, that might be a valuable second shoot or that might enable you to get on a bigger shoot further down the line. So just spend that extra bit of time to have a bit of rapport, you know, maybe get their website, just chat to them about what they're shooting. And probably the people that actually turn out to mind are thinking, geez, mate, I just want to take your lens, just, just shut up and let me get on with it. But to me, I think that's a valuable thing that you can do to build a relationship with another local filmmaker or photographer. The other thing you can do is actually give them a demo on the kit. Just ask if they've used this type of equipment before. Oftentimes they will because they know what they're hiring, but I've had it before where I've just showed someone how to use the GH5, for example. Shot a little video on my phone and that's really helpful to them because then they get the most out of the gear and they're more inclined to hire it in the future. So that's definitely well worth doing. And another thing you can do is offer packages. So don't just list things singly. You don't have to have just the GH5 and the 24 to 70. Create a package for that. Camera and lens combos or with a monitor, with an audio recorder, for example, so that someone can just, for ease, click on that and hire the whole lot. You'll obviously get more money collectively and maybe someone didn't realize they needed a monitor and they'll hire it because it's convenient to hire in the package. So that's everything to do with Fat Llama, kind of like a mini review, pros and cons. Hopefully that gave you an insight on what it is like to use Fat Llama. And if you want to use it yourself, go down in the description. I've got a code that helps you and it also helps me as well. So I'd appreciate it if you use that. If you'd like this sort of content, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next week.